What if Vegeta killed Frieza? Now, I know we all seen Namek in the episode with Vegeta. <sighs> Tears of the Saiyan Prince is what I remember the Z Kai episode title name being. And this was probably the probably the shift or the, the, the best shift in Dragon Ball or the shift in Dragon Ball Z, uh, where we now find this new rank of power that belongs to Goku at first. But what if, what if Goku didn't get it? What if for some reason the chamber that he was in took a little while to um, to get going? What if Vegeta really was our last hope? Could he achieve Super Saiyan? Could he beat Frieza? In this what if, Vegeta does exactly that. Vegeta turns Super Saiyan. Now, he doesn't do it in the way that the show does. He does try to get himself hurt. But in this one, he more so taps into the hurt and pain that Frieza has caused to his planet and his pride. Um, this is where he's beaten down to a pulp. Frieza does get him down. He beats him down to a pulp. And at the brink, instead of him dying, something snaps. And so we're going to give him that, you know, Gohan snap effect where he's almost dead and his pride is bursted. And he's like, yo, no, no I won't die. I have to, you know what I'm saying? And, and role plays, you know, all that good stuff. And just burst out into a Super Saiyan uh, transformation. Of course, we're going to make it a little bit more creative when we're going to get into Sparky Zero. But what I want to emphasize here is that Vegeta's power level still isn't going to be as power powerful as Frieza. Frieza is going to be really tough to beat. So we gotta, we got to really got to put in a, a lot of work because, unfortunately... This Super Saiyan transformation is temporary. Yeah. So Vegeta reaching this form isn't him reaching the form like Goku did it and securing it. It's him reaching the form in a heat of rage. So he only has it for a certain amount of time. So I kind of want to make it so that Vegeta only wears or, you know, we only have the transformation for a certain amount of time. And then we have to fight the rest of the time in an even lower state. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like some of these going to be tough. It's not going to be just easy. But in this, at the end, the goal is to kill Frieza and secure Vegeta's pride. I think that what would happen if this happened in the show, Vegeta would honestly try to take over everything. I'm not going to lie. He would definitely become Prince of All Saiyans and try to, he would try to challenge Goku, definitely. There would be no change in his heart if he, if he, if he, if he achieved this now. So, even, so after that, in this story, he would become the villain, seriously. He would He'd probably even wish for immortality uh, after he's done with Frieza. That's that's just my thing. I don't think I think that Vegeta at that point was not changed yet. It took him a while. Even after the free, uh, Android Saga, he wasn't changed as 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 much. So yeah, we have to really take that into account. But I hope you guys like this what if story. If you guys enjoyed this one, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and also leave in the comments what you guys think about Vegeta killing Frieza. Well, you think, do you think it would have been a good idea or you think you like the way that it uh, happened the way it did? I think I do like the way it happened the way it did. I'm sorry. I love Vegeta as the good guy. I I, I don't know what I, I don't know what would happen. I think what would happen, but I don't know. I don't know if that would be something good that would happen for the series if he just stayed a villain. But anyway, again, thank you guys for watching. We're getting on some more Sparking Zero content. Peace.